welcome to my channel today we will see how to prepare four quadrant chart uh, this is the data table we prepared the four quadrant chart here from this data here when we select the years from slicer the products are changing the quantum unit sale and the actual unit sale we can see which corner uh, the product is located at the same time we prepared this uh, as well each product in the slicer when we select the product each year where it is located the target unit sale and the actual unit sale we can compare them are we achieved the target or not quickly we will prepare this quarter chart here's the data select one of the cell and control t to make that table my table cascaders all right click here and Take the pure table, table range, table one. Okay, done. The years in the filters, product in the rows, target unit sales, and the actual unit sales are in the values. Okay, we can filter one of the years here. Take select an empty cell and take a scatter chart. Now right click it and select data. Add the data series name. Uh, product wise okay the x series is the target sale y series is actual unit sale okay we will cut this and paste it to next see it select the sort in the format we can set it to equal height and width 5 and 5 now no fill or line for the chart from the chart elements of the grid lines and need the axis titles and the data labels from view menu of the grid lines and headings select the float area and double click it we can fill the border now double click the y-axis we have to set it to minimum and maximum minimum 0 maximum 50 x axis as well name the x axis click it and in the formula bar equal sign and the x axis is target unit sale and the y axis is actual unit sale these are the horizontal axis and vertical axis we are going to add in the chart select data and, and add new data see this name horizontal x axis and y axis we'll add vertical x axis and y axis okay, now we will connect horizontal axis and the vertical axis are they in the red color and the gray color click the points and make solid line and with two okay in the marker uh, no fill or no line in the vertical axis as well select the point solid line and the marker no fill no. now we will remove this data label which is from vertical and horizontal line now we will select this data labels go to label option we can change it to value from sales which are products Okay, all points are changed to the product name. Okay, now select the pure table and from the insert menu, get the slicer. Yeah, cut this and paste it into the next sheet. Four years are there, make it four columns. Right click and in the slicer setting, display header open, hide data. Okay. We got the slicer here. When we change the years, we can see the products 
changing in the quarter chart for example apple around target is around 25 but the actual is around 47 so target achieved this area we can compare the target versus actual just we will copy this and paste it here in the data we will copy one more pivot table here we will put the year in the rows this is year we can filter one of them now we we will select this slicer uh, report connection make sure not to connect with pivot table 2 okay right click this second chart and select the data we will edit this product wise as year wise the x values as target unit sales from year wise y series says get actual sales the products are here year wise let's click this uh, data labels of this and values from sales select range this year okay now yes are there select this fever table and from insect menu get the slicer for the product this and paste it in this there are around 21 products so make it seven column okay everything done now we can choose the products here see for the dell in 2022 target is here actual is here for each year we can see the target and actual here we can choose the year for the whole products target versus actual okay let's see in another video